Hi, I'm Diane at HDFineWorkouts.com. Welcome back to my kitchen. Spring has come and it's time to make some spring soups. One of my favorites, of course, is using fresh peas. It's that time of the year and this is a soup that incorporates dried split peas and fresh peas into a lovely spring soup that's garnished with mint. What we're going to do first is put some canola oil into our pot, heat it to medium heat, add two chopped leeks, Love leeks because they're very mild in flavor, great for spring soup. And two celery stalks chopped up. We don't need to worry so much about how finely we chop all of this stuff because it's going to be pureed at the end anyway. Once we get this stirred around and we get it covered in the oil, then all we're going to do is cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes. So the leeks have been cooking now for, and the celery have been cooking now for about 10 minutes. We added three cloves of chopped garlic. We added some dry thyme. You can use fresh if you want, I just didn't have any. And what we have now is this wonderful starter for our green pea soup. The leeks are nice and browned up. We've got garlic in there that's been cooking. We'll add the rest in and let it cook. We're going to take one cup of split green peas and put them in the pot with the leeks. We're going to stir them around just to make sure that they're all coated with the oil. Mm, it smells so delicious in here. Once we know that the peas are all coated with oil, then we have to add liquid. So what we're doing today is making this vegetarian. We have one liter of vegetarian broth. Again, we have this in the freezer. I make it up ahead of time so that all we have to do is thaw it out in the morning and have it ready to go, and then we add twice as much water to the pot. This is the basis for our soup. The dried peas are in here, they have a really good source of vegetarian protein for us, and all we're going to do now, give this a stir, make sure everything's stirred up really well, and we're ready to go. All we're going to do is bring it to a boil, and let it cook for one hour. After that's done, we're going to add some fresh peas to the mix, puree it all up, and we're ready to have lunch. The dried peas and the leeks and the celery have all cooked up now. They've been on the stove for an hour, and the dried peas are all really soft and ready to go. In the meantime, what we did, we took four cups of frozen peas. It's not fresh peas in season quite at this time in our area. So we took four cups of frozen peas, and we brought them to a boil and very quickly put them under running water to blanch them off and keep the green color there. Did you know that peas have one of the highest sources of vegetable proteins around? So you combine that with the dried peas that are in the soup and you have a great soup with lots of protein in it. We're going to take three cups of the blanched peas and put them into the soup that we've been cooking on the stove. Just stir them up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is puree this whole mixture. You can put it in your blender in batches if you'd like. I like to use a stick blender. I'll bring it over just a little bit towards the stick blender here. So I use my stick blender and all I'm going to do is put the blender in to the soup mixture and let it blend. blended up yet or pureed, but can you see how bright green it's getting? Doesn't that look like spring? Now that the soup is pureed, we're going to just ladle it up into our bowls. This is a great soup for lunch. Add a green salad to it and you're ready to go. You could serve it as a starter course for dinner. You could have a light dinner by adding a nice sandwich to it if that's what you'd like to do. But you simply ladle it up into your bowls. We kept some of the blanched peas out. Garnish with the peas. And to finish it all off, what better taste of spring than fresh mint? So we're going to just add some fresh mint to the top of the soup. And there you have an easy to make soup. You can see that there's lots of it in the container. You could freeze this and have it ready for you to go whenever you need a quick, easy meal. 
put it in the fridge and you've got lunch for a couple of days, lunch and a dinner. It certainly makes life a lot easier when you batch cook like this and you make large quantities. We are ready to go with our springtime green pea soup with mint. Enjoy the day. Visit us at agedefineworkouts.com for more recipes and ideas about how to get those meals on the table in a quick and easy fashion.